January 1942, the high watermark of Nazi conquest. Hitler's armies hammered at the gateway to the Near East. Their Japanese allies poured across Asia, an irresistible flood of men and weapons, driving to link up with the Germans to the West, crushing the world between them. Sweeping into Burma, they captured the vital air base at Michina and cut the Burma Road. Our forces, pitifully weak, retreated along elephant trails, through jungles, across rivers and mountains to the temporary refuge of India. General Joseph Stilwell said the last word on the campaign. I claim we got a hell of a beating. We got run out of Burma, and it's humiliating as hell. I think we ought to find out what caused it, go back and retake the place. Meeting in Quebec, President Roosevelt and Prime Minister Churchill gather their strength. To India, they sent our men. Irish, English, Scot and Welsh, Australian, New Zealander, Gurkha, Sikh. And from the United States came 3,000 volunteers, seasoned jungle fighters, veterans of Guadalcanal, New Guinea, Bougainville. Men who responded to a call for one dangerous and hazardous operation somewhere. Organized as the 5,307th Composite Unit Provisional and placed under the command of Brigadier General Frank D. Merrill, they became a part of the forces which sought to regain Burma. On January 4, 1944, the invasion was launched. Merrill's mission, to sneak behind enemy lines, surprise and destroy the main Japanese supply base in North Burma, Wallaboom. Moving in three columns, spearheaded by an advanced platoon, its point, they succeeded in making their way undetected through 200 miles of Japanese territory. After three months in the cruelest jungle on earth, the point was close to its goal.